In this video, we will show you how to install crop bars and crop bar diagonal braces on your polytunnel. Crop bars span across the width of your polytunnel on intermediate hoops, and they are used so that the structure is more robust. Crop bars are not installed on the two end hoops. Here are the parts you'll need. Crop bars are supplied in two pieces. One is 1.96 meters long and is flattened at one end and plain on the opposite end. The second piece is 1.96 meters long and flat at one end and swaged on the opposite end. Connect the tubes together by locating the swaged end in the plain end. Secure the pieces together with a self drilling screw four centimeters from the joint. Ensuring that both flattened ends are in line. Fit a Q-clip onto one side of the hoop, approximately head height. Locate the flat end of the assembled crop bar to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. Position another Q-clip on the opposite side of the hoop. Locate the flat end to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. We need to ensure the crop bar is level. Place a spirit level on the crop bar and adjust accordingly. Once the crop bar is level, firmly tighten the nuts on both Q-clips. Now we will fit the crop bar diagonal braces. Crop bar diagonal braces span from the crop bar to the central ridge. There is one diagonal brace per crop bar. Crop bar diagonal braces are 45 centimeters long and are flat at both ends. Fit a Q-clip to the central ridge. Fit another Q-clip to the crop bar. Locate one end to the Q-clip on the central ridge and loosely secure in place with a bolt and nut. Now locate the opposite end to the Q-clip on the crop bar and firmly tighten. Adjust the Q-clip so that the crop bar is level and the diagonal brace is not pushing the crop bar down nor pulling it up and then firmly tighten the Q-clip. Repeat this process on the remaining intermediate hoops. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.